If the question was what can you do for your continent, then one good answer would be Seychelles Fashion Week. This was the fourth edition for the stylish island nation. Driven by founder Terry Carolla, it is out to build a broader, tighter African community of design, modeling and fashion that maximizes opportunity for young talent. Well, the idea to launch the Seychelles Fashion Week started in 2013. It was important for me to have other things to do for the models. And I came up with this idea so that we give the local designer the platform and we create an event that more models from Seychelles will take part and grow the industry. Here to play their part were six South African designers in a show of solidarity with others from across the continent, dressing Seychelles models in African originals. I am Makosa Zanenchanga Ase, all the way from South Africa. My brand name is called Sisters Phyllis. I'm actually very happy to be here in Seychelles, to be precise, Eden Island. And my collection for today is an African flag. It's very new, it's very fresh. It was inspired by our continent. Our continent has 55 uh, countries in it. So each and every print that is in there represents our African continent. And it, it represents every female that we have within our continent. Focusing on the sisters, while not forgetting the fellas, we discovered these men's timepieces with a Lunga and Tuli twist. Helen Watches was founded in 2016. I wanted to communicate the message of love, it being inspired by the Zulu love letter. Back in the days, guys will write letters to their loved ones, so that hardly happens now. So we thought that what could be one of the medium um, languages of communicating or expressing that love, then I thought that, you know what, using beats will actually work and so that is how the watch was founded and then there was what you call Uto as well back in the Zulu culture where a woman will give beat something then give that to a man as a form of saying I love you and I want to remain with you for the rest of my life. Women designers like Precious Lulu were making statements of intent in an array of fabrics, silhouettes and detailing. The collection is called Survivor for survival. You're gonna see a whole lot of tassels, a whole lot of strings and ropes, and that is us detangling ourselves from the situations that we are facing, be it monetary, being, be it health issues and whatnot. And you're gonna see a whole lot of androgynous pieces. You're gonna see cat suits, you're gonna see party dresses. There's a lot of evening gowns as well, glitz and glam, and of course, ethnic African prints as well. The strong Zulu influence at this year's Fashion Week included a collection by Silungile Mukwena. My main outfit is African Queen because on that outfit I actually brought the Zulu culture into the island in Seychelles. So it's a fully beaded, draping a beaded cape with a Zulu hat, Isikolo and uh, that is what symbolizes a Zulu African queen. I am expecting the audience to be happy because my collection is all about being confident in everything that you wear. Regardless of what you are wearing, you need to walk out, proudly walk out, step into each and every situation with pride. I just can't wait for everybody to see the rest of my collection Tonight, I'm going to be showing a casing, everything that I have, all my connection. This is just a, a tip of an iceberg. Of great interest here was Makosa Zana Ntangase's use of avant-garde designs for maximum impact on Instagram. And with it, a host of international orders. I have three showstoppers. One has a beautiful red, it's fully dressed, but it has a little bit of naughtiness in it. And then the middle one, it's gonna be dress number five. It also has a little bit of naughtiness. It speaks about me and my character. And then the last one, the main showstopper, is a nice mini, mini dress. It's amazing. It speaks more about the African flower. Silungile Mokwena was channeling the colors of the Indian Ocean Island waters in her offering. My main color of my collection is turquoise green and turquoise is our self-confidence, 
self-love. So I believe that uh, as an African, as a South African, as a Zulu, I need to actually be grounded, know who I am, know where I come from, and express that in whatever I do. It was an African union of fashion with Ghanaian TV personality Anita Akwi Akufu, both reporting and representing. So I think the designers are amazing. They have great designs and I'll definitely pick a whole lot of uh, the designs I saw. They're good and I'm proud of them. So because I'm from Ghana, I decided to go for something Ghanaian and this is Kente. It's called Kente in Ghana. It's an indigenous fabric and every Ghanaian knows what Kente is like. So I wanted to represent something Ghanaian and that's why I went for this. But I can't get to you of my designer, Ajwa Ibuwa. Local designer Atalia Babi saw her sales rocket during COVID as clients couldn't buy online. Okay, so this is the first time actually I am participating in uh, this uh, Seychelles Fashion Week. I am using the African fabric because I want to introduce it to the Seychelles and uh, to make them see what they can do with the collection. It's uh, casual, it's uh, beach wear, it's uh, formal as well, so it's very. While showcasing his work, Nigeria's Ikene Paul applauded South Africa's promotion of all African design. Romeo Paul Design, it's um, a unique brand that is classic. And the, the outfit we are showcasing tonight is called the confidence. If you have the confidence in what you're wearing, you carry yourself in that way. Fashion is all about your appearance. Our outfit, you can say, is unique. It's not mass produced. So it's just for people that love style and want to appear in a classic way. So um, yeah, I've seen some of the South African designers and their designs um, is really encouraging. Seeing the, uh, the South Africans coming to showcase here and like we heard, most of them have been sponsored by the government. It means that the government is very interested in the fashion industry and not just the fashion industry at home in South Africa, but in other parts of Africa. The South African government has been very great to us. About six designers are coming from KZN and are sponsored by Department of Trade and Investment in KZN. It's a great partnership between Seychelles and Seychelles Fashion Week, the Department of Tourism in Seychelles and the Department of Trade and Investment in KZN. This is my third time here. I was the first designer from South Africa to make it here in 2018. But I fell in love with the country, I fell in love with the people, the nature here, the culture here, and I have been influenced by what they have to bring. 16 designers from South, West, East Africa and the Gulf States made for an event worth shouting about to radio host Derek Meriton. This uh, fourth edition of the Seychelles Fashion Week has been uh, tremendous. It's been uh, absolutely wonderful. I really enjoyed watching Ellen Watches, right? I love the concept of uh, the beads, uh, South African beads, uh, Zulu beads, and interpreting it. I'm, I'm a big color person, so uh, it was absolutely beautiful to see. MC Sylvie Atima struck the perfect tone for the week. The designs are bold. We all know with art, with fashion, it needs to be bold. It needs to make a statement. It needs to be a reference of conversation everywhere. In a way as well, it set the examples for future fashion shows in the Seychelles, future fashion designers in the Seychelles to be bold just like tonight. The real talking was done on the runway in dazzling African style. Thank you, The Insider SA, for coming to the Seychelles and sharing the Seychelles Fashion Week, the fourth edition, to the rest of Africa. Our congratulations to the Seychelles for getting on top of all the tricky global protocols needed to make this happen. And to the fashion industry across our continent, here's to a thriving 2022 for all of you. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.